Yo, you wanna know what's going on in the UBA? We giving y'all some real talk. Who got something to say? New topics every week. Sometimes we have. Moving right along, we'll get into the uh, walk down of the year candidates for the North. Now, we are actually filming this right now at Last Team Standing, and we are here. It's uh, June, you know, June Last Team Standing. We had two candidates today. But because of the nominees and because of the timing, they're, they're not here right now. We had two four old sweeps. Uh, I'm sorry, no, actually, no. Cancel that. You're gonna edit that. Walk down to the year. Walk down to the year. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was about to ask that what you're talking about. That would be stretchy. Walk down of the, year. Of the year. We have uh, we have a few candidates here. Uh, one that involves the cruiserweight championship. Mm -hmm. One that involves a cruiserweight number one contender match. And one that involves the Vixens title match. And one that involved the Q word. The Q word. What's Quit. The Quit. 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 We'll get into that later. We will get into that later. Because you can't quit. Someone call you a quitter. They call me a quitter. Call you a quitter. I What's up with I'm that? Not gonna get Dougie's definitely not a quitter. I will say I'm that. There's a lot of things you can say about Dougie, but Look, quitter is definitely not one of those let's things. Talk about the Vixens match at Battle Bowl. Yes. The Vixens hunter match at Battle Bowl number eight. It was correct. Yes, and Battle Bowl eight. Here, Crazy. Again, we we talked about this match earlier because it was a match of the year candidate as well. Yes. Me and Williams versus versus Vic, Vicky Spafford. Now. Mia was down 3-0. Yep. The reason why this is a walk down is because she came back from 3-0 in hostile environment because everyone was cheering for, for Vicky for the most part. There, there is a huge majority of fans that were screaming for Vicky Spratford. Strike also, City. Strike City. Strike also, there. add to that that Mia Williams was dealing with an injury of her own. She had her own knee injury pre-existing. Again, she, she left the list after the match right. to have surgery. But she came back from 3-0 down to win 4-3. In the title match, with all eyes on her. And it wasn't because of anything that Vicky did. The, you know, when you see that, the first thing you're thinking is, oh, well, people made mistakes, they bull bad. No, Vicky bowled very good all seven games. Mia, Mia is, took uh, it from her. A great bull. I mean, I, I, I want her to come back. I want her to come back, and I want her to like be ready to go. I want her to be back on the, on the list. I was hashtag Team Weems last year. Mickey Weems was her, her nickname. You right. Know? I was hashtag Team Weems all season last year, and you know I got to meet her at one of the events, and all around great person. You know. Well, I know this summer she still has to undergo some more surgery, but she will hopefully be back this fall, and when hey. she's ready to go, she'll be ready to go. Yeah, let's go, hurry up! But until you get back, you have this nomination. But in addition to you, we have Josh Valdez versus mm -hmm. Mike McGrath, the powerhouse. Josh Valdez, cruiserweight champion. This was a cruiserweight number one contenders match. It happened at Hazlitt Lanes. Yes. Uh, after the New Jersey Gauntlet, I believe. This uh, happened at, after the Gauntlet at Strapmore. We had to move, move the matches move over to Hazlitt. Hazlitt. This was a crazy <laughs> match if you were there. <laughs> Mike McGrath was not only up 3 to 1, he was already talking about. Having the social media campaign with a belt, if there was money involved, he was already <laughs> spending at the bar. Yeah. He had everything going up, and then he did something that you do not do to anybody. You start moving around the other bowler's equipment, and you tick the bowler I, off. I, I, I watched. I watched this live. <laughs> you and I were both there live and in person on this no, no, one. Actually, no, I didn't. I wasn't there live. This wasn't a hazard. This was not a Hazlitt. Hazlitt was Raul. But this, I watched I'm sorry, this, yeah, I watched you're right, you're right, you're right. Facebook Live. Yes. I, and I saw Josh do something uncharacteristic. He threw his ball onto the floor. <laughs> Josh got very, very mad. Upset. And then, again, he was down 3 1. He came back and won for the belt. He came back and won 4 to 3. Now, and then he went on Facebook. What well, makes this special <laughs> and why this is here over most of the other three to ones isn't because of just the match. It was all the ramifications that happened after <laughs> the match. He went on Facebook and trolled the dude. Like, 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 like. Like, like I would do. He completely trolled, <laughs> completely trolled him, and then <laughs> it was funny. I liked it a lot. Oh I, yeah, I applaud you, Josh, because I mean your videos are bad, your, your videos are terrible, but that was great. I like that you were you showed some personality. Finally, as a champion, you should tell the people I beat you really badly. You should have lost. And I made you lose. Like you should have won it, but I made you lose. Right. And then, and then Mike came right back and trash talked to Mike back, and Mike's now basically like, when we get the rematch, hold on to the belt because hey. when we get the rematch, then there's gonna be no have, laying I it have, down I have on a you. PSA: Do mm -hmm. not drink and bowl. This is the guy saying this. This no, is the guy no saying this. Bowl, Mike. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. No. We got. We got. Uh, this, this hits home. 
here's where the Q word comes in me, from. Cause, cause, uh, I mean, and this actually featured one of the bowlers that <laughs> was here early on the day. He got, he got, he got beat up bad. But, oh, Shonda, face on, of Suicide Squad. Right? Can you give me a squad? Squad. That's not how they say it. But, uh, squad. Against Michael Book's whole of Fish Reason Militia. I, I don't really want to talk about it because I was that's my teammate, man. Michael uh, Dougie's ex teammate. Uh, but books, man, you were up was oh. up three zero. You were up three zero. And then he loses the next four. And you lost four in a row. And you lost four in a row and to Sean Dyke. And, and, and then you quit. He quit. Yo, when and he left the series. If I had to pick a winner here, I would say this match. P1 Shondite, that's his name, P1, versus Books, should be the winner of this. Only because he made someone quit entirely. He, and that is impressive, by the way. You can't quit. You lost. You Yeah, take it. Lose. You lost. You can't quit. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. Adversity does not build character. I Sometimes it from, reveals it. I that from John Cena. You never give up. Hustle, loyalty, and respect. Books. There you go. Oh, wait, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> hey, Robin's over here, but... Robin Cena cannot, Nation Pashina, yes. You cannot quit, man. You you, you got to take the loss. You got to take the L. I mean, I, 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 I you know, you, I've lost. You lost. You had the, you had a tag title opportunity. You lost. You know, I, I bowl you, like you poop, gave up, but no, absolutely not. You can't give up, books. Next time, don't give up, man. This is me, big brother. Oh, cousin, whatever on you. Oh, big Dougie is watching you. Let's go. Who you got from the South, man? <laughs> anyway, walk down for the year from the South. And, <laughs> I, you know, a, a lot of this is crazy stuff. And none of these people quit. Uh, but you had uh, Dre Gaither versus Josh Pittman. Now, was that a walk now, in your opinion? Uh, yeah. Six games. But it, it's still, in my opinion... The match had a lot of hype. It had a lot of build-up. It was crazy in terms of... In, in th the build-up was crazy. Number one, you had people yelling at each other, arguing with each other, blocking each other on Facebook. And, and it's Dre, obviously. And it is Dre. Guys, who, who was Mr. 300, you know, South heavyweight champion a few times already in the past against this new guy, you know. And new guy took control. He took control. It was at Myrtle Beach. Yeah, you know, unholy. Dre was down. I'm oh, sorry, yeah, unholy, Myrtle Beach. Mm -hmm. um, Dre was down, was it 3-1, three, uh, three was it? Something like that, which and means it, it went 7, yeah. Yeah, it, it went... It went what? No, no, I'm sorry. He was, down. he was down two one. Mm -hmm. It went six, but you know he 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 just because of who it was that he bowled against. It wasn't just what he did, but the way that he did it, because it was a strike fest. It went back and forth. I mean, you're you're looking at two eighty versus two seventy scores. Yeah. I mean, almost every single score is two fifty plus. It, it was it was a strike fest. It was a great match to watch, only just to see the reactions of the bowlers itself. I, I love I love the back and forth. I love the. Oh, it was great. The trash talk. I love that whole you know animation and all that. Stuff, you know, it, it went it went back and forth. It was it was again one of the I believe it was nominated for match of the year in the South as well, and there's good reason why because yeah. it, it was fantastic. Hey, crowd was there. Every you got to have crowd. You got to have you got to have the bowls. Obviously, you got to have crowd though. That's and, and and part of it was it was a very pro Pittman crowd. You did have people there cheering for Gaither, but it was very pro Pittman. I can't say that. Again, being there in person, I mean... I was there in person also. That's, yeah, yeah, you got your opinion, I got mine. Andre was on DC. I yes. Mean, it was all about who you with. Uh, next one, Charles Therrington versus Bryce Koontz. I believe that also happened at Unholy Alliance. And I believe Bryce Koontz was up three games to one on Therrington, and Therrington came all the way back That's to win it in bags. seven. Money bags. That is money bags. Money bags. Money bags is good, man. He's good. But money bags is very, very good. And he, he lost his title to Derek Williamson right after that. But that was a great match because that you uh, Therrington was a very heavy, heavy favorite to win the match, and he wound up coming back to winning it. But again, Bryce Koontz up three. To one, remember the hitman. You had once again Kevin Decker planning on spending the money that unfortunately he did not wind up making. Yeah, and there's a great meme out there of him giving me the middle finger from the crowd. Oh, oh. I haven't seen it, so you should show me. But I'll, Harrington, show, I'll show you later. Harrington is good, he's uh, he's always on the cruiseway list. He hasn't been off the list for a long time, so he's always gonna be there. No, he's he's gonna be he's gonna be very deadly as long as he's on that list. Yes, always a competitor. Uh, last one, and this is this is interesting. Christina Oakley versus Daphne Smith. Daphne Smith is currently the Vixens champion. However, in an earlier match, she had a lead against Christina Oakley and let that slip away. 
She lost. She did. She lost one time. She absolutely did. Uh, this is before her reign actually, I guess, took off. But I know that it went to Game 7. I know that I think Daphne was up 3-0. Uh, I believe she was up 3-1. 3-1. And, and KO... KO came KO back on her. Good. When KO was actually good, she, she ran her down. You know. K KO is still very, very, very I mean, good. But I think one of the things about this match is that it really kicked in a second gear for Daphne Smith. Yeah. I, I, think I mean, that was, I think that was the thing that made her realize, number one, she's human, and number two, she's got to work. But, I mean, at the same time, she really hasn't bowled anybody since then. But, you know, she's going to have a tough match coming up. But this match right here, that match with KO, I, I, I saw the scores. I didn't see the live, the live stream. I saw the scores. Those girls can strike. They can bowl down there. Oh. They can bowl in the south. And, and unless they unless they bowl the north, you know, I know three. People wow. That, I know three people that, you know, can strike more than Ko and Emily and um, what's the other one? Why not? But Ko and Emily and uh, Hillary Amanda, Acock. Amanda. And Amanda also. <laughs> so you know, I know three people. But yeah, Ko at at this point in time, she was uh, she had been the Vixen champion. She had lost the belt, and uh, you know, I guess this was her, 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 her. It's probably the last match she's won. I don't know. She's still, is she still alive in the Vixens? Is this? Oh, uh, Christina Oakley. Ko, yes. Uh, Ko, I think is still there. Yes. She's still there. Well, Daphne's a champ. She's gonna be tough to beat. Um, but yeah, she she did lose that match. Uh, you know, and you can't lose ever. Well, you could. Uh, you could. You know, that's how you get over here. You're not supposed to, you're but not supposed to. that does happen. Anyway, I am going to have to leave now, Gordon, because I have to go. Um, I have to go. I don't know where I'm going to go, but I have to go. So it was nice talking to you. It was a pleasure, sir. Um, it was nice talking to you. So I'm going to sign off right now, and I'm going to say peace be with you. It's Dougie. That's it.